I just thought, I don't know, you seem to like the videos and I'm really happy about that. And we're getting near Christmas and really I'm thinking I should be taking a break from this because I do have a lot to do even though it may seem that I don't. I've just been out this morning and done my shopping for Christmas and I can't believe the madness out there. My food shopping, I mean. And it's one day. I mean, why? I've spent a fortune and it's one day. Anyway, I don't want to think about that because it makes me weep the amount of money I've spent. So this is going to be the second of my cushions and it's a gift. And I'm not going to say who it's for. I can tell you after Christmas. Um, but I've got to kind of keep it under my hat. But what I'm going to do is I've got one stitch left to put on here. One web stitch here. So I'll do that in a minute on the thing. But I wanted to just talk to you. Last night I did the I did some cross stitch hearts on here. And there's a lot of interest in this on my blog. This star thing that's going on here. I didn't do this. But looking at this, I'm convinced it's machine made. The edges, when you touch them, they're quite hard. They're very intensely wrapped. And I honestly do think this is machine made. And if you look at the like satin stitch flowers... And the tiny holes in the middle i'm convinced it's machine made so i could probably do something similar to that but i wouldn't get it that precise i don't think not on such a small scale because um as i say i don't think it was done by hand so that's that covering that and then i've got french knots here on a seam and i've got bullion knots here on a seam um, and then can you see the bullion knots and the french knots there and then here when I put this together, do you remember I put this over lace, this lovely um, V-shaped edge, like a handkerchief edge. And I've added mirrors to that lace, just to highlight that lace. And on this bit of vintage here, I've put scattered web stitches with like little stems um, and little French knots to denote leaves, etc. And then on this fabric down here, I've done very little to this, apart from some running stitch going down and across and then I've just put web stitches in these gaps and I want to put the final web stitch on here this morning um, and I have got a plan for the edge, one of the edges of this when it's finished so I will show you that and here's me can't find the camera again so I will show you that when I've done it but what I'm thinking is it's probably not going to be completely finished till Sunday this one so I'm going to do this web stitch now, then I'm going to damp stretch it and then tomorrow I'll put pictures on of it damp stretched and then I'll construct it tomorrow afternoon. Um, I'm going out tonight but I've still got to embroider the edge treatments that I want to put on here so I'm hoping to get that done in time to have it all made up and ready for Sunday. And then on Sunday after I've posted this finished one I'm going to have a break for Christmas and I'm not sure how long it'll be because I'm getting visitors who aren't going till the day before New Year's Eve. Um, so I'm not sure even when I'll be able to come back because I'm going away myself for a day and then I've got visitors coming for three days. So, it, you know, it's all a bit hectic. Um, so I don't know how long I'll be away, but I'm also considering running Embroider Embellish Create again at the same time as Alchemy. That is going to take some planning. If I can pull that off, I will do it. But watch my blog for an announcement on that. Because I know a lot of people haven't done Embroider Embellish Create. That's the wrapping cloth class. And I know there's quite a few people want to do it. And Alchem is running for 12 weeks. So if I wait till after that's finished, it's going to be a long time before it runs again. So I'm going to try and get videos, etc. made. Get myself a backup for Embroider Embellish Create to be able to run that at some point during Alchemy's run. So watch my blog for that as well. So I'll just do this last web stitch. And I don't know how many of you have done this, but I'm using a blunt needle. And the reason I'm using a blunt needle is because I do a lot of weaving on top of this stitch to create the stitch, okay? So if you don't do that with a blunt needle, you run the risk of shredding your threads. So I'm fortunate in that I can get through this cloth that I'm working on with a blunt needle. Sometimes I have to use a sharp needle to create these legs and then swap over to a blunt needle when I've created the legs. But luckily this cloth takes a blunt needle um, so that I don't have to swap my needle part way through. So then what I do is I'm just going to weave now around these legs to create this web stitch. Um, I'm going back over that one and under the next one to come out and I'm literally just weaving round here 
until it's full until it stands proud like this one so this is a lovely stitch it's a really relaxing stitch but I've noticed before when I've made videos of this stitch my stitches are never as precise or neat when I'm making them for a video as they are when I'm just sitting on the sofa doing them um, and I think that's because I'm conscious of having it in the line of the camera I'm always looking at the camera to make sure I haven't gone out of the line of the camera and it's quite distracting but this without a video involved this can be such a therapeutic and relaxing stitch to create and it's literally just this weaving with the needle in and out of these bars going back over them and then coming up to the left of the next one so you're going to be wrapping that one so I'm literally just wrapping these legs so and I'm just about round now you can keep going as long as you want the more you do it the prouder they stand it depends on the effect that you want um, but obviously there will come a point where you can't get round anymore but I'm going to keep going a little bit and this is just cotton abroad that I'm using as well they look quite nice in cotton pearl because cotton pearl has a sheen to it but cotton abroad is my absolute favourite thing I'm always running out of cotton abroad I order like 20 or 30 at a time and they don't last me long I think I need to start ordering 100 but that would cost me £100 and I'm reluctant to part with all that money in one go so there I'm round so I don't think I'm going to do much more on this I think that's done now so now I'm just going to take it through to the back and tie it off at the back and then this will go on the damp stretching board later this afternoon um, and I'll take pictures of it tomorrow when I take it off there because I like to leave them on for a long time to make sure they're properly dried out so that's my final web stitch on there so I have now um, three just running down there and three just running down there and it kind of just finishes it off with this running stitch going horizontally and vertically okay so that's it I hope you enjoyed that um, and my little chat